YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. I am Jody Joe, and it's Christmas, and I'm uploading the part two, which is phase two of those Marvel MCU movies ranked. Brought to you by donator and contributor and member of Jody's Corner, Knock Shadow. Thank you in advance, my brother. This is all possible because of you. I'm here with the PIC, the man, the myth, the legend, the code. I have arrived. Let's get it. I can't wait. All right. I do not know your films this time. Right. Phase one, we knew each other's films. Mm. Let's try something different here. Okay. I don't know the films you chose for phase okay. two, but there's one thing that's for sure here, Code. Phase two is trash. This is the worst phase of all three phases. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right. There's six <laughs> movies in phase two as well. Okay. Uh, let's change up the dynamic. I'll go first okay, this time, go, okay. and then we'll start with you. Let's start from six, work our way up to one. All right. All right. Here we go. Coming in at number six, the very worst film of Phase 2 is a film that is known as arguably the worst film of all the phases, of all the MCU. And we're going taking a trip right back down there to Robert Downey, Robert Downey Jr.'s character. It's Iron Man 3. God dang, this movie was sauce. But let me, let, let me, I'm going to just oh, vouch a little bit. Oh, can I get in on this? Yeah, what's up? Because my shit's there too. Can, we can get in oh, on yeah, the ones we both, that are the same. All right, we, we, yeah, let's yeah. get in on this. But go ahead. I'll just get in on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah all right. Yeah, yeah, so so we shit. both agree. Yeah. So your number six. That is, shit on my lip right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God right, damn, so, I can't <laughs> stand them Iron Man movies, bro. Them shit trash. So your movie is Iron Man as well. All right, yeah, so let's double. Right. Bro, that movie. So, hey, it was something, it was something nice until that Mandarin reveal happened, bro. Once that Mandarin reveal went down, bro, I was like, what? the freak ben kingsley was terrifying it doesn't matter where you are where you are i'm gonna fight you <laughs> america bro your blue eye red eye attack dolls can't find you he's a good man he's a good man i'm sure he is i'm sure he's a good man bro this was fire the way he blinked he gave his address to the man I will not stand up to whatever, once up to whatever palisade. Gave his address. And then all of a sudden, the one time he don't have any suit, the one suit he does find is a prototype suit that doesn't barely fly and has no energy in the sheet. That's right. Helicopters came and destroyed Tony Stark. You would think his house would have better defenses if you're going to give out your shit. Like, you, ain't you, you the tech man? automatic logging force missiles. Fields. I thought he had force fields and shit. It was so stupid. But on top of that, I would figure that not even if he doesn't, Shield does something. You think somebody watching? There's some yeah, protocols something. around yeah, yeah. all of their houses. Yeah, not even from villains, but from fans. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I'm just saying they're celebrities. But whatever, that was, whatever. That was very dumb. Shit that was, was very dumb. dumb. This is what I'm talking about. Half-ass execution. It's a nice idea to get Tony Stark. Iron Man attacked at home. That's great. Yeah. But you have to execute this shit good. Half-ass execute. And then the suits were blowing up like they're made of paper and shit. Paper mache. What kind of shit? These are the Don't get me started with that shit. Get These me are started the same with that shit. Suits bro. that take anti aircraft fire. This fool flipping and oh yeah. But they're it's but, terrible, bro. But a house explosion though. So you're telling me that the gas leak in the house. It's, <laughs> so it's, it's bad. Whatever. It is whatever. It is whatever it is. Uh, bro, like, the fact that you had a hero is who could be attacked and his suits crumbled yeah. by heating up villains, heated up villains with ultra super <laughs> mega rays that could melt metal and burst them into this debris. Guy. Blows my freaking mind. He was popping them when the, all the suits were coming. The Mark Eight, Mark Mark Ninety Six, Mark Thirty Seven. They were just. I'm like, what? What? what, 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 what? They must have been prototypes. I don't know. Nah, those were full on fledged suits. Yeah. And they were getting wrecked. Pepper was kidnapped by this by Guy Pierce's character. Trash. Some scientist. So he was left on a rooftop. And I don't know. He was mad because he hey, was abandoned. I ain't even gonna front. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and he got his revenge, and, oh, and, no, and, and Happy got wrecked. Thick Happy. happy After got I thick. found out, I forgot. Yeah, that shit was we whack. Tend, we tend to forget bad movies, don't we? Bruh, it was yeah, a kid in there somewhere movie. for some reason. Little boy, Bruh. 
this was the part where Robert Downey Jr. got tired of wearing the Iron Man armor, which is why we saw him in human form so much. Yeah. That was all written into the script. Bruh. I, I'm sorry. It's just, this is a bad movie. I don't movie. know. This is a bad movie. Okay. Uh, yeah, since we agreed there, let's. I think we're going to agree with our number five as well. I don't know about that. All right. Number five worst movie. <laughs> I mean, number five movie of Marvel Phase 2 is Thor The Dark World. Oh, shit. You're right. Fuck. We agree. Fuck. That shit right here on my list. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. All right. So both of our number five picks, we agree here. God Thor damn, the Dark. That's strange. This movie. Maybe not. This this movie had shines of epicness in it. Yes. And it had so many powerful characters. The Dark Elf, Malekith, and that red and Majestic, the sinister guy from Get Rich or Die Trying. I think it was OP, bro. Yeah, I was just about to say, this is where they dropped the ball hard with Thor. Because you had him flexing on them frost giants. And now you yes. bring in characters so we can actually have a movie with this dude flexing. Or at least struggling and doing super shit. Yeah. And you just said, nah. Let's have his mom do some shit. Hey, that was tight, bro. It was, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. His mama that's was saying. sick. And he was keep <laughs> breaking his shit. And she died. That, that's was, what I'm that saying. was That was nice, bro. That was flex, nice. Uh, Thor was supposed to flex. Thor flexed. Not enough. Not, yeah, not, not, not enough. enough. He flexed more on the frost giants. He flexed in the beginning of the movie with the rock guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He He's supposed to flex. This is the time, yeah. right? I don't see no God of Thunder in this movie. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Malekith was a dark elf. He was supposed he was to be whack. all big and strong, but he sucked whack. worse. He sucked harder than anything else. <laughs> yes. He was the worst character in the movie, but you're trying to tell me he's the most powerful? You're trying to tell me this was the guy? Not even the guy. They were fighting Odin? For what? How? Yeah. I see why they all got wiped. <laughs> I see exactly why Odin wiped the freak out of them, bro. Exactly. The whole race. Because y'all saw us. You suck. Thor hit you with a beam on your face before you left Asgard, and it stuck with you. You couldn't even heal. Your, your right-hand man, Majestic, was stronger than you, bro. Right. He was boosted. There's, <laughs> he was boosted by the... Uh, the te- what, not the whatever, Tesseract. Whatever. whatever the, the, the ether? Yeah, the um, Infinity Stone. He was yeah, boosted. Bro, he was bro, boosted. bro, that freaking grenade is savage. <laughs> That's the, that implosion grenade? It's the Richard and Clay grenade. Bro, you can miss me with that shit. Hey, that grenade is iconic, bro. That's the gravity bomb from Richard and Clay. That shit OP. <laughs> Why did they just throw it at Thanos? <laughs> Why did they just go to Dark World, find that grenade, and just throw it at Thanos? Here. That shit, shit was going to rip his armor off. <laughs> oh, rain fire, bro. <laughs> the ship getting that motherfucking too. It would be like this. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, yeah, done. You done, homie. Throw you one grenade rich? at that ship in the sky. Oh. <laughs> Implode. That grenade is OP. Tight. Where that it's grenade at? Tight. Yeah, that grenade is freaking iconic. It scared the heck out of me. Low key, you know, him, you know, the him I like the scene where he was he meant to see him in the in the jail and you know he he put the facade up like he was okay, but he's really damaged and, and Shout out to Loki, by the way. Shout, Shout out, out to Loki. He's dope. Uh, Shout out to Loki. He he does a good job with that character. He really does. He really does. And uh, it's overall just it just underperformed. It just didn't hit the mark that it should have hit. It's not as bad as people say. I think it still gets a, a hard hits gets hard hit harder than it should. Gets a bad rap, but it's it's, it's getting it's, one now. It's bad, <laughs> but it's not the worst. Okay. So okay. that's both of our number five. Yeah, Anything else lining. you want to say about Thor Dark World before you move on? That shit trash. Let's move on. <laughs> she trash. That's one of them. I forget that shit too. I forgot why they was jumping worlds or whatever. What, why? Hey, I don't bro, remember. I think we're going to agree. Oh, no. Hold on. The best scene in Thor was when uh, Loki was switching to different Avengers. That shit was tight. I think we're about to agree. I don't know yet. I was skeptical though, so maybe. I'm just making an adjustment that I just saw. Oh, you made an like, adjustment? Yep. Oh yeah, we we're not gonna agree. We're I'm not gonna we're not gonna. You made an adjustment. We're not gonna agree. I just made an adjustment just now because yeah. I don't I don't I don't. Yeah I don't yeah 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 yeah. You you had my shit and then you fixed it. I had your exact you, list. Yeah. No no. All right. The so next number, pick. For, for number four. Yeah. Here you go. You fixed. For it. number four, I'm going Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the oh, Galaxy. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We both have Guardians of the Galaxy. No. Keep going. Okay, so you don't have Guardians of the Galaxy. No. All right, I have Guardians of the Galaxy. This is a film that nobody saw being anything. Like, I remember seeing the trailers for this thing and thinking to myself, like, what? Who? And like, like who? This, yeah, they marketed this man. shit right. Who? This movie was marketed perfectly. Somehow this thing turned out to be decent. You know, it's still not it's still not a film that I love. 
it's a film that I would give like a C or a C plus two even to this day. I feel like people extremely gassed it. Guardians of the Galaxy is the beginning of the end of the MCU as we knew it. They were really much going for the serious narrative, but Guardians of the Galaxy shown them that they could go funny and goofy, and that could be the leading formula. And I feel like they found that out with this film, Guardians. So I guess uh, I believe it changed the formula of the MCU as we knew it. And um, overall, it's a decent, it's a decent Nebula. These misfits that aren't good, like none of them are good, none of them are strong. Even the strong guy Drax is not strong. Uh, the raccoon, I don't know how a tree. I don't understand how. I don't understand and Drax. then you, intru- you introduce the power like they're stone. All humans. These, they're weak. It's all like of them are humans. weak. Nebula's not strong. Gamora ain't strong. You would tell me they're strong, but I don't see shit. Yeah. So it was just a movie of goofballs being goofy, trying to be a family at the end. The dance off at the end really left a, d- a bad taste in my mouth. Like nothing, that. no stakes, nothing means anything. But it's it's an okay, it's a mediocre film. What do you want from me? Gardens of the Galaxy number four. I like the dance off. What's your number four? My number four. Come on, Liz. Avengers, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. You know, you didn't see this coming, huh? I thought we was on the same page. Oh. We didn't see this coming, huh? Age of Ultron. Yeah. Oh, number four. Explain yourself. Age of Ultron is awesome until Ultron shows up. <laughs> I don't like Ultron, bro. He whack. I don't like him either. He's a whack villain. How he was made was whack. All of it is whack. The event, every, this, is, this reminds me of Iron Man, the first movie, how everything leading up until the cum shot is okay. And then once the cum shot or whatever, the second half, whatever you want to call it, comes. N- then it turned, for me, Age of Ultron is Transformers. It's, I like seeing the characters together. I like them fighting. I like them doing all that stuff. But Ultron is a no-go for me. As a villain, he's a no-go. His, and, and his final plan to drop that giant metal onto the... Fuck. You're an ultimate AI, bro. You're the ultimate AI. I understand you're just trying to destroy humans and shit. But your big plan is to drop a giant metal into the core of... You retarded. He's it was to dr- destroy the Earth. He's retarded, First, though. he had to lift the metal and then let <laughs> yeah, it go. Right. Because what goes up must come down. <laughs> Whatever, bro. That shit whack. <laughs> That's a dumb plan for a ultimate artificial intelligence. That's a dumb plan. You're right. You're it's right. just a stupid idea. It's a stupid cum shot. I didn't like anything about it. And they had to come together for, to... We must come together once again to stop this giant hunk of metal. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How did they stop the hunk of metal? What did they do? Did they send a lot of robots to fly and grab it? Oh, Iron Man they bots? stopped it. They st- I think they stopped it from gaining the, the altitude that it needed to destroy the planet. Uh, I think that's what they did. Or some dumb shit. But how did it guide back to Earth? No, I think it fell. I think it fell. It just didn't fall. I don't remember. That shit whacked. It didn't fall from the exact altitude because uh, the whole gotcha. Sokovia thing, went, I think it did fall and then it did the damage, uh-huh. but it didn't destroy the earth. Either okay. way, it was dumb. I don't want to go over this because I can think of a million ways how he could have tricked them. And they didn't lock him out of the internet until Vision got a hold of him while he was trying to take that shit up. And I'm like, you have bots going all over the world and you're on the internet and you... He could have had six, seven different plans going on without them knowing because he was just all over the place. Mm -hmm. But you just, I'm going to just come right here and they're going to come right. And then he says, they were like, we're all in one place. Just where I wanted you. Shut your dumb ass up. You wanted wanted all of them right here in one. I didn't rewatch this dumb movie. It's dumb. Everything about it is dumb. I liked it though. It's nice to look at. Nah. It's I nice. About that. I like it's it. nice to it look okay. at it Transformers. Had a lot of issues, bro. I could watch Transformers like this all day. <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. I don't know who Ultron. Uh, Ultron. Uh, uh, I can't Optimus tell the Prime. body parts. Yeah, I don't know who did the good guy just blow up. I don't know. Somebody blew up. It don't matter who. This movie is like that. You get to see all the Avengers do their thing. Anyway, I'm doing on this whack movie. It's, that's why it's weird. All right. Shit so that's whack. your. That was your number four, huh? It's whack. All right, so number three, I'll go start off with my number three. Here's a film that I didn't expect to do anything, but and this is the only MCU film that I haven't watched for the longest time. I watched it a year ago, but it, okay. it's a movie that I had no interest in. So much no interest that I never watched it. But I watched it a year ago because people gassed it, and you know, it's 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 it's, it's a good film. I'm gonna give it Ant Man. <laughs> Ant Man. Uh, Scott Lang is this criminal guy just runs out of luck, who runs into some luck. 
because he needed a guy to break into somewhere and steal some things. That's right. And that's exactly what he did. Uh, Hank Pym was the old guy who came and got Scott Lang to be the new Ant-Man and, you know, him, Yellow Jacket. It, there's nothing special about Ant-Man. Right. There's nothing special about this movie. It's very or basic. The hero. Or nothing. There's, that's what I said. There's nothing special yeah. about anything in this movie. Yeah. The only thing that has some some eye candy and some nice factors the going big and going small. That's the specialness. Right. And besides that, there's nothing. Yellow jacket, not special. The the, the the side cast, stereotypical Mexican locksmith got gang with T I in there, bro. They were funny, not though. special, bro. They were funny. They were funny, but just like she's it, it, not nothing enough. special. Not the the freaking one of the guys was the bad guy from the Dark Knight. Freaking, I forget the guy who was gonna that one that sh- was gonna shoot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Old pasty face dude, two face dude in the ambulance. You know, I remember now. So uh, nothing special here. I just have to rank the sheet. Ant Man number three. <laughs> I I'd give it like a B, sheet. B minus of a grade. <laughs> it's it's sheet. it's okay. It's, a, it's I could say it's a good movie. It's it's okay. I like it. What what you got number three? I got Ant Man, bro. I got Ant Man. Oh, so we agree. Tight. I got Ant Man. Ant Man. Nah, you got Ant. You got I, my Ant Man. My the, three is your three. Oh yeah. I'm going first. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. My yeah. bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fuck. Um, yeah. Ant Man. So, <laughs> Ant Man is there's like you said there's nothing special there. But the reason I give Ant Man a pass, and and I do give it a pass, is because unlike Ultron. Ant Man knows exactly what it is. He wasn't in this movie. He wasn't trying to save the universe. He wasn't trying to. This movie is self-contained. Doing the oh, I gotta go steal a suit. Oh, I gotta go. To, all of this is Hank Pym's little adventure and his own business. It makes you wonder, like, why make it a movie then? Why don't you just put that as a narrative in someone else's film and make it? That's true, movie? and make a Hulk movie. But anyways, exactly. So, so, but, but because the movie knew what it was and it wasn't trying to, uh, uh, uh just overreach which i feel age of ultron overreached because it was an avengers movie and this movie didn't overreach it was a simple regular i wouldn't even call it a superhero movie but you know it it wasn't bad it wasn't great it was watchable though it was watchable and i remember watchable. shit you know i remember shit ultron I, I forget everything that mattered all i remember was captain america fighting ultron on that truck and it was awesome that's it there's things that i remember from ultron but uh, Ant Man, you know, Yellow Jacket, whack. And I like how, you know me, Mr. Personal, I like how it got personal at the end when he had to go back to his house and they was fighting in his house. And there's some little jokes with that, but I like how that got personal. You know what I'm saying? And the whole movie was personal shit. The suit was personal to Pim. Uh, 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 the second chance was personal to, uh, uh, what's his name? Scott, Scott, Scott Lang, you know, and then the cum shot at his house was personal because it was his family. And he was trying to get his family back or be with his daughter, whatever. It was it was a nice little wrap up. It wasn't it wasn't nothing epic, you know. So okay, so you you know we both agree with number three. Uh, I, it's a lot of this is just default stuff that makes it in here. <laughs> like th- these these movies are just not great. Like these, these it's full of not great movies. Like every all four of these movies that we've done so far are just not great films. Iron Man three, Thor Dark World, hey. Guardians of the Galaxy, and Iron Man. Hey, this happens. is just the not great it's phase. It's okay. It's better that way. <sighs> yeah, easy. <laughs> Number two. That's top two. Here it is. I'm going to go. I know Code not going to like this, but I'm going to go Avengers Age of Ultron. No. Avengers Age of Ultron, yes, all of the things that you said is true. Yes, it is have narrative issues. Yes, there's plot issues. Yes, there's interconnectivity issues. Yes, Joss Whedon ran away from Twitter and the whole entire internet because he was ashamed to be a part of this movie. Yes, the Marvel did put a lot of stress on him, and that's why things didn't make sense. I remember that stupid, dumb bathtub scene with Thor in there screaming with a prequel to Ragnarok, something that was I don't even remember that come. shit. Fuck, you just reminded me of that shit. What is that there for? It made no sense. I, I understand that you know Ultron sucked. I didn't even like the voice of Ultron, the guy from freaking that TV show. Right, right, right. I don't even like his voice. I felt like he was too witty and, and funny. He was too much like Tony Stark. I wanted him to be a menace. To be. Whack. You're a machine. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You can be anything Send it you again. want. Too much like Tony Stark. Whack. You could have downloaded anybody's intimidating voice. You could have downloaded freaking the the guy from uh, Welcome to the Continental. I feel like they should have let, they should have let oh boy, I, forget, I don't know his name. That does Jarvis. He should have done it. Sure. He should have done Not it. Not that guy. You know. <laughs> Not but that code. Guy. But code. I disagree with you, bro. Obviously. Age of Ultron has. It's an Avengers movie. I know. 
And because of all the characters are in it, yeah. it boosts it. it has Freak, the what you talking about? It has about. the popcorn. I ain't even gonna yes, lie. It does. It's, it's got, got the popcorn. To it. Bro, the first opening crawl where they were all together fighting in the woods and did that three scene. Type. And then the guy, we're not gonna stand down. We're not gonna give up. We're going to give up now. <laughs> I was dying. Uh, you brought in Scarlet Witch and Speedster Speedy guy that got shot by a bullet. Trash. Uh, you they got, tend to uh, do that. These Speedy <laughs> guys tend to do that. The time where they were all having a party. And they were hanging out, hey, that lifting was the tight. hammer that up. Was tight. That Come was tight. on, this, this is all before Ultron, like, like I said. Hammer. And then uh, Captain America almost nudged it. Like Thor. I said, Thor. bro. Oh. And then he couldn't do it. He was like, <laughs> And then in the video, I knew it. Movie was good until Ultron it. showed up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that party scene was tight, bro. Yeah. Uh, Shit was fire. Hulkbuster versus uh, 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 Hulk. It was nice to watch. The Hulk Buster armor versus Hulk. That was a nice thing to see. Yeah, bullshit, it wasn't. Bro. It was. It was visually epic. It was bullshit, but yeah. it was still epic nonetheless. The popcorn bro. movie, bro. Yep. And for these reasons, I put it above all this other Ant Man, Guardians you. of the Galaxy. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got That's you. my number two, bro. I got you. I can't. What movie that. you got over Ultron? I got Guardians, bro. I got. Are Guardians. You crazy as heck. Guardians, because I did not see it coming, and just like Ant Man, Guardians kept their shit self-contained, and it was better for it. You know, and they didn't they didn't stress anything about uh, uh, coming to Earth or none of that stuff. It was all in space. And I'm not trying to compare it to Star Wars, but it was just nice to see something different that wasn't bad. You know what I'm saying? It was just a different take. Uh, Star Lord doing his thing, and and nah, the and the marketing so sure. and the marketing for this movie knew exactly what it was. I think there was a scene in the movie that they used in the marketing where they were like, "We're, we're the Guardians of the Galaxy," and they were like. You're just a bunch of a-holes. <laughs> like, they already knew what they was, right? So, hey, I'm on board. You're on board. You you know you ain't shit. I know you ain't shit. So let's laugh with this shit, you know? So I'm on board for that. I laughed. It was fun. There was nothing epic about it. In fact, there was some letdown. <laughs> a lot of letdown. No, no. There's a letdown. <laughs> I thought you had more to offer, bro. You thought that this Drax... You actually sold us that you're going to kill Thanos. You ain't killing <laughs> shit, you dummy. You big, weak dummy. The, him? You were going to fight that purple guy that wrecked Hulk? You? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Say something funny. With his two knives, bro. Clown. His two shivs. It's Thanos, bro. Nah. You do? And then he proceeded. How you going to say that? His two knives. And proceed to get wrecked by somebody... That Thanos is just menace. This peon, yeah, Aunt Boo, right? You Thanos, and then tell me again, and I'll bathe your blood, your, the stars with your blood. That's right. what you told, bro. Exactly. And this fool, he's not even trying to end you. <laughs> and you want to kill Thanos with your two blades? It was a lot of underwhelming shit with that, but it's like, it really is. It's <laughs> the equivalent to Hercule attacking Cell. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Cell just sitting what? there, <laughs> right to a, a freaking rock. What you see? Stupid idiot. But you see. What are you gonna do? But you see, the movie knows this. <laughs> the movie knows this. We didn't. No, but we actually thought he was strong. Right, but the we had to find out this fool was but, trash. But they do this with him a lot. I'm gonna be, find the man who murdered. I'm gonna find Thanos, and I'm going to kill him. Yeah, he was. Like, that, oh shoot, he about to kill Thanos? <laughs> oh shoot, we found finally someone's talking about Thanos. And he Shut was up, choking Drax. on he was choking on Gamora. And she, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm like, oh, 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 shut up, <laughs> you pink salmon motherfucker, sit your butt down. <laughs> Lips could just if he would have lift something up and throw it like something really nothing, heavy, nothing. At least, at least but, do a croc do. I threw a rock at him. <laughs> you couldn't even pick a rock up and throw it. You're not strong. <laughs> that's the thing. That's the key here, Coke. He said, "How you think you can pick up a bug, a Volkswagen?" Nah, <laughs> nah, I don't think he can. I really don't think he can. I think Spider Man is stronger than this fool. I, I, I know Spider Man is stronger <laughs> than him. There's no way. There is no way. Wait a way. minute. What's his name? Drax. No. Drax. Drax. The. the some shit. The Destroyer. The Destroyer. Because it's Rhodey and Accuser and Rex. What you destroying? You ain't destroying shit. In this in the comic book, he is Drax the Destroyer. He is strong. Oh, he's strong? Yes. Oh, they dumbed not... him down. <laughs> dumbed down ain't the word, bro. You ever okay. had Kool Aid, bro? Yeah. All right. Good. Take some watered down. Take a picture of watered down Kool Aid, right? Uh huh. Then pour that. Oh. In the ocean. 
and then take a drink of that ocean water, my nigga. That's how watered down Drax is, That's terrible. bro. That's terrible. Salt. Are you saying it's a glass of water with a drop of milk? No. It's a pool <laughs> with a drop of a glass of a water. Oh. And a drop of milk in the water. Oh, so I can't taste the shit. No. All I taste is water? That's correct. Okay. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah, that's why it's up here on my list, man, because, you know. Yeah, Drax, we, I love you. You're one of my favorite MCU, but you trash, bro. Uh, so, number two was your Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. All right. So, we we're both agreeing on this. The movie was shot. entertaining, though. Oh, yeah, it was number easy. One. Number one. What's the number one movie? Captain Winter America, Soldier, the Winter Soldier. Let's Winter go. So- it was too easy. Too easy. Too easy for this one. For so many reasons. Give me, let's go, let's throw points. Uh, 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 let's go back Storytelling for uh, one. Uh, 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 storytelling? Game. Uh, action. Action. Oh, Character great. development. Character development. The spy element. Hydra. The chase scenes. Which co- which, Samuel which Jackson. Yeah, Samuel Jackson. Oh. Air conditioner at 100%. Bro, the Winter Soldier brought that execution. Savagery. This this movie executed its scenes very well. The Russo brothers step on the scene for the yeah. first time in the MCU, they and they blew us away. They weren't playing yeah. with the execution with yeah. this. Yeah. Was on point. They made tiny little fight scenes were executed so well, they had weight behind it. Like just, mm-hmm. it's more than just the popcorn movie with these fight scenes. Like the menacing, uh, 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 uh what's his name? Um. The Winter Soldier, right. the menacing Winter Soldier, when he can't, when he comes in and people die and shit, trouble, bruh, that shit was tight. When to I see saw, how scared Black Widow was I of was him, just about to say that shit, she was, and the music with that shit, terrified. I was like, oh terrified. shit, and then Cap coming in trying to, what's up? I'm gonna give you that work, and he's like, yeah. nah, homie. Yeah. <laughs> now what happened to him? Nigga's trash now. Ain't that some uh, shit? Well, he's a white you know, wolf and he sucks. It's okay. He All took he does that, is shoot he took guns. the mask off. You know that effect. Yeah, once that mask comes off. Take that shit off. Don't take your mask off. As soon as that mask comes off, you done in this don't world. Take that shit off. I'm looking at you, Kylo. And the everybody only, else. The, nah, nah, nah. Everybody. Nah. Nah. Only one man took the mask off and was still cool. Who? Oh. T'Challa, homie. When he did one, like. What's up, homie? <laughs> that shit was tight still, homie. That shit was still tight. He yeah, didn't he still, care. They didn't care. He didn't care. Cause uh, they didn't know yeah. who he was. Right. And when he I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. What's up, homie? I'm gonna get your boy. Yeah, that's right. I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get your boy, homie. Yeah, yeah it's me. What's yeah. up? I'm gonna get your boy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know. So this was a landslide for It uh, just had a good story. The script was solid. It didn't yeah, have a lot of solid. loose holes. It didn't have a lot of three strings. It was just clean. And it tied it tied back to the first Avenger too, yeah. which was tight. You know? Captain America learned that he had to he couldn't he had to question his government. He was still fighting part Hydra. Part one was doing what the government says. Part two was questioning the government. And yep. Part three was Which he was questioning them the before the Hydra element. Yeah. Remember when he was in the elevator with yeah. uh I mean this movie's fire. Yeah. But to know that he had to fight an old enemy that he thought he had defeated, you know, that, that was rough for Cap. You know, so this movie, easy, easy. It's too many, too many whack shit with this heavyweight <laughs> up in here. Too many you know. too much goodness from this film. This film stands out as, and it's a Captain America movie. I didn't expect to be the best, but it was the best of the phase. Like, Captain America really showed me something special. He, they really turned it up. And it grew over time. Like, uh, initially, I gave the movie probably a B plus, A minus, something like that, when I first saw it in theaters. But seeing the surrounding around the MCU, right, I think over time, it just grew. Yeah, I it feel grew like. into something bigger. I feel like what happened is the rest of the movies don't. They don't live up to yeah, it. Yeah, they don't stack up to and what. that's why it. The, the level of uh, uh, directing, acting, storytelling, the they stunts, don't, the fighting, yeah, the script. And some people might argue yeah. it's because it. I think the the the, the ground level character, they they, they 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 do better than the ones who are bigger. Some people might argue that because when you look at Thor, they're easy to manage. And yeah, shoot, they're and easy to for. forgive things that they do. That's yeah. why maybe the uh, Black Widow movie coming up because she's so grounded. It's about to be fire. Might be epic, you know. Because they're so easy to easier than to it's easier to write a character who has a hard time getting into a building than one that can level it. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So right, right. maybe that's their advantage. Right. You know. It, this is just a good movie, man. And uh I, I it's my top five. Another one easy, of my top five. Easy. It's top high up five. there. You know, Winter easy. Soldier. And uh it's gonna have some resemblance. And there it is, guys. That's our top six ranked MCU films. Our list was very similar. 
minus the way we feel about Age of Ultron. Yeah, and Guardians and shit. I just had to give Atron, Age of Ultron that boost because it's an Avengers movie. Yeah, I can see why. Because a lot of I, go, I go back and watch it. That's what I go back. Yeah, and watch I still shit. watch Ultron. Yeah, I still go, I, and I need to go back and watch it because it's been a while since I saw it. So put down in the comment section what you guys think, Team Jody or Team Cole for the list. I don't know about Our lists are really similar. I don't know about this one though. <laughs> oh, you, you're no, 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 no. Because phase one, you ain't no, confident. but because you, people, I feel like there's a lot of people that loves like some of these mediocre movies. Like Ant Man, Ant Man has his fans, and Guardians has his fans. I feel like <laughs> Guardians number one. I got Ultron high on my list, bro. You got that shit low, bro. I'm my get point, this dub, my bro. point is, some people be like Guardians number one. Yeah, <laughs> and my Guardians is number four. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah watch out. So for me, it's Iron Man three, Thor two, Guardians, Ant Man, Ultron, Winter Soldier. For me, it's Iron Man three, Thor: The Dark World, Avengers, Ant Man, Guardians. Wow, and a winner soldier, baby. Put down in the comments what you guys think. I'm Jody Joe. That's the code. We two parts of the Just Us League. And we out this thing. Deuces. Told you that we leave it. Subscribe. <laughs> and click that video, guys. Hit the subscription bell. Happy holidays to you all.